cross country trip on vintage motorcycles. This week, Kansas is hosting the participants of Motorcycle Cannonball. Riders are now at their halfway point in the more than 3,000 mile journey. Roman Campo was at the Twisted Oz Motorcycle Museum where bikers made a special stop. It's the calm before the storm. Rider coming in! This week, a group of motorcycle riders are taking part in the Motorcycle Cannonball event. It's a race starting in Virginia and ending in California. And if that's not special enough, try riding thousands of miles on a bike that's probably an antique. A lot of this stuff you won't even get to see in a museum, possibly. But now you're out here, you get to actually see it, you get to smell it, you get to hear it, and you get to see these crazy guys go across the country. Rider coming in! I made all the miles last time, and so far, knock on wood, I made all the miles this time. Robert Ziola says this is a race he looks forward to, but it also comes with some challenges. Um, limited gas mileage, you know, the bike, I can only get about 65, 75 miles out of it. So that's a challenge, like keep track of the miles, when you have to stop, when you have to get gas, because you're stopping, like today I probably stopped seven times. It's the journey across the U.S. that creates a strong bond among all the bike riders. It's 21 days on the road on old motorcycles with a bunch of other idiots that are also on old motorcycles. So at night it's great hanging around, talking about bikes and, and that kind of thing with other like-minded people. And when it comes for a time to rest. I'm sure we're going to get better, great meal. Most every city throws a, a little party for us, which is always so nice. Rider coming in! It's definitely a memory-making uh, event. In Augusta, Roman Campa, 12 News.